Hey guys, it's Niv. It's Sunday, I'm in Marbella, and I've woken up to a shed loads of paperwork to do for some remortgages. So I'm filming, filming this unedited raw video and just showing you how this month I've done over 120k and added that to my bottom line ready to go again and invest and how I literally uh, made over 120k this month solely from rental income and buying property properly. So I've done this, uh, a screen record as well just so you can see and uh, come along and see how this can be implemented in your own buy to let portfolio whether you're an existing landlord or starting out and remember the key is to buy property below market value and this is a prime example. So first of all I'm literally going to show you um, what's happened. So I bought a property in December 2023 for 85k guys pre-auction nothing needed doing nothing wrong with it it was tenanted i did my due diligence read the legal part checked out tenancy agreement drove past the property you couldn't go inside made a pre-auction offer forced the offer and had a few contacts in the auction department and it got accepted and it was a company who was selling it everything was all the certificates were in line everything was good to go so i took the risk i actually paid the 10 percent deposit on my business credit card capital on tap so i got points on that as well and I didn't even have to pay till the next month um, yeah, you came back plus the other AK deposit. The rent is 750, it's still renting for 750 although that's going to change because I'm going to get social housing, housing on it and hopefully get 1500 a month. So the money in was 21k just to give you some context so that was my initial deposit. I borrowed 75%, I put it on a bridge, borrowed 64k and uh, I put 21k in my own money or the company's money in it. No refurb was required. I, these days I buy very little property, less than 100k profit in it to do a refurb, just because dealing with builders, materials, the time it takes is just not worth it for us, especially when we get opportunities every week for below market property values where the, um, the refurb's not required. Now, it's six months later, it's come up to the remortgage. It's been valued at 130k. I'll show you the, uh, on the screen record, I'll show you the mortgage offer and evaluation. I put it in at 135, it came back at 5k less. So what? Borrowing 97,500 on a normal buy to let mortgage, minus the 64,000 bridge, means I'm gonna get 33,500 cash out, tax free guys. Remortgages are tax free. So that money is effectively company borrowing, is tax free. So when it lands in the account, it doesn't go into 20% tax. As I said, the rent is still 750. The mortgage has now gone well, now gone down. Sorry, to 406 pounds a month, and the profit is 344 pound a month. Now that's not going to change my life. It's not going to change your life. It's very little. If the boiler breaks, <coughs> that's going to be gone. But as soon as this tenant leaves, we're getting it social housing minimum 1500. We could probably get more. So our profit is obviously going to be a lot, lot more over one grand a month or just about and crucially because i put 21 in and got 33,500 back out the house was effectively free in fact i made money buying it effectively so that 33,500 then what i do is i put it back into a new house deposit this is how i keep on growing my portfolio and building up the cash flow and the uh, rental income so the new house I am currently purchasing is 133k. It's worth 150 to 180k. It's free by HMO. We've already got a social housing deal agreed on it for 1600 pound a month. And I'm obviously going to remortgage that in six months and do the same thing again, rinse and repeat. And this is how you can keep money coming into your bank account as a buy-to-let portfolio landlord if you're buying well, and every few months get 50 to 100k. Remember, my rental income now is. 56k a month minimum net profit um, it does vary slightly some days some months we get more some get some months we get a little bit less but i'd say on average is 56k and that's net and literally that's how you build a portfolio tax-free and have over 100k a month coming into your bank account on some months obviously the rent plus the remortgages and if you're buying well one thing crucially guys i don't trade uh, I don't sell my own properties. Um, I do trade properties out to trade, but they're not ones that will generate this kind of income for me in this area. So this profit is 
purely this. And if you want to build up a residual income and live somewhere like this and obviously live off 10K a week, which I'm doing, or probably more, you do need to save the properties. You can't be tempted by a 30K for a quick flip. As you can see, I could have got more if I'd sold this for 130 because I wouldn't need the initial deposit. But if I keep it, get social housing on it, I'll have that residual income. So that's why I suggest to you guys. So just going on the screen recording and I'm going to show you my portfolio. So let's have a look. Sorry guys, this is live and unedited, as I said. So you're going to have to bear with while I go through the multiple emails. Okay, so this is my portfolio so far in one company. This is one of my companies. It is my main one, but I have got another one which is fast catching up. So you can see the rental income highlighted down here as I scroll down the screen. And you can see the portfolio value is 5.315. That's probably gone up a little bit now. It's probably closer to seven. The lending is about the same, three mil. Loan to value is 58.78. Rental income has gone up now because we're using social housing and getting rid of family lets because of, obviously as my last video if you haven't watched it click the link below somewhere it's so much headache to rent to families and we get actually more renting it social housing or as professional hmos so this 32k has gone up massively and this is just one company i'd say that's about 45 now my mortgage my mortgage has gone up slightly because of the rates but then again they're coming down so i'd say that's probably the same so you can see even on this one, there's quite a healthy margin and I've got no partners, I've got no investors to pay out. It took me 10 years to do this for one company, but it's so worth it now because I live off at around 10K a month and that's just from property, not mentoring, not trading, uh, not doing my quick flips, quick, quick flips, which sometimes I do. Sorry guys, heavy night last night. So you can see my rental income coverage is 265.11% as well, which is pretty healthy. So it doesn't take a genius to work out. If you want more income and you want more portfolio value, all you have to do is keep buying and adding to this number because it will always outweigh this number because this number, remember you have to put 25% deposit. So as long as this keeps growing, which means buying more property, this will always be a healthy difference. And in time, this value, because properties go up obviously over time, and especially if you're buying below market value on day one, this number will always grow and this number should stay the same, the debt, and it should actually decrease because of inflation, because de inflation erodes debt, because it makes the pound more valuable, as in it costs more to buy something, so ten pound to a thousand pound today, a thousand pound in ten years will buy less, but your debt stays the same. So it devalues the debt because obviously for a thousand pounds of 10 years, you can buy less. The debt's worth less because an average rental income obviously is going to increase and wages are going to increase and all sorts. So that's, that's the basic economics of portfolio building. So I did talk to you about my latest purchase, which is L42TT Sunbury Road, 85K. It's actually down at 125K. Okay. Yeah, but Two months of passing it's now been valued at 130. And just so you guys know, I'm not telling you any porkies, which some people do. Let's get the let's get the mortgage offer on screen somehow. £130,000. I've actually got the offer now and if I show you the mortgage offer, if I show you... Guys, I've got three legals on this as well, so it's not even going to cost much on the legal, so... Okay. Aldermore Bank, so... You. So, this one's with Aldermore and Russell Russell and Corvain which is all the forms I've got to fill in. The meeting with myself, because I'm the only director, guarantee, personal guarantee, and that's the mortgage to Sunbury Road, Liverpool. Okay, so there's proof right there on screen that that is as I say. And if you don't believe the price we got it for, we can you can go on uh, land, uh, right move or land registry and find out. And if you don't have to do that, it's like 13 pound or two pound, I can't remember. I don't often do it. Go on land registry 
and you can see the purchase price or you can go on the auction Edwin Mello auctions and find out now if I'd let that go in auction and didn't have my contacts it would have gone for probably 110 because the similar properties a portfolio that was offloaded by this company all the other properties went for higher and this was the best one because there's an end terrace large free bed it could actually be an Airbnb you can see Liverpool Stadium from it and it's a quite a large Victorian house so it was, a, it was a bargain and I haven't sold it to be honest I don't want to as I said I've pulled the money out so guys um, the other thing I wanted to quickly do is log on to my one of my company bank accounts just to sh again show that we make the other landlords look like they're on job seekers allowance <laughs> but credit where credit's due let me show you my rental income for this month i do have a lot of expenses um, and you'd be surprised what you can put on expenses viewing trips out in spain to see new villas it's a shame you can't remortgage in Spain because this, this villa behind me, which I bought in lockdown, I could probably remortgage about 500k out of it, but there's no remortgages in Spain, so I'm close to paying it off anyway, so I'll just leave it as it is. I'm on 2.98% again, which is probably below inflation. But let's see if I've got a screenshot. That's the rental income, you can see it. I literally just logged in now, that's the rental income for this month back to my spending. Um, and it's the 8th of September, so. It's pretty good, business is booming. As I said, I, it is easier to get these chunks out rather than save the rent because you've always got maintenance and stuff although we're lowering, lowering the maintenance well down now because of social housing again and guys if you've got property in Manchester or the North West get in touch and we can probably get you a lot more rent than you're currently getting um, with our partners so going back to the portfolio guys let's have a look if it's coming up okay now I want to show you a second one on here and this is only two, these are the only two that I've picked and there's big equity as you can see in the others but we don't always need to use it because I've got a lot of rental income and you don't always have to remortgage everything to raise, you know, there's going to be like almost half a million in the bank accounts in the next couple of months and am I going to have enough properties to buy below market value? Probably not. Bear in mind we're servicing clients as well which is another really important aspect of the business that we're trying to grow. So I'm quite pretty patient and I only buy properties in my area as well, in the areas that I'm buying and I already have a portfolio just because it's easier to manage and I'm not desperate anymore so I'm just going to show you the other side of this. Turn it around. Prepared earlier. So guys, 20 rows a road, okay? Um, let's see if it's on this screen here. 20 rows a road. Yeah, 20 rows a road. Okay, purchase 2022, 210,000. Property value 250. Monthly income was 1,900. That has gone down a bit this year because I rented it late. Current mortgage balance 154,000. It's on 5.49% which together the monthly payment was 649 now guys i bought this rented again so from day one it was making a good amount of money obviously 1900 minus 694 that's how much it was making okay now that rate has gone up so i've had to remortgage it i didn't really want to i didn't really need to remortgage it but just to pull some money out and get a better rate i did because together's went up to 10 point something and i couldn't get it lower because obviously rates have gone up since 2022 although they're coming back down I'm now paying a thousand pound a month for it so I just wanted to remortgage it and obviously the broker said well you might as well get some money out and buy some more property as you do tax free so why not so purchase price 210,000 rent no works were required it was an existing HMO as a landlord offloading again pre-auction the value today it's been valued at 260,000 pounds not even 250 260 and that's in Sheffield okay I don't often buy HMOs in Sheffield, I don't like the student market, you have to rely on them coming every year, but it is what it is. It's always been full, it's next to the uni. So, remortgage, 75% of the new value, 260 equals £195,000, minus the existing mortgage, I'll get 38k back. 
The new mortgage is 4.99% times 195, which is £810 a month, because obviously it's gone up because I'm borrowing more. The rent is 1700 at the moment, it is a bit lower, but I've taken a hit this year and I'm making £890 per calendar month, even on a bad year, bad year being we didn't market it in time, which was my fault. So that's the prime example of almost making a thousand pounds a month. Now, I am £58 a month less well off if you do the maths, just because the mortgage has gone up. But there's 38k coming in the bank for the next property. So what does that mean guys? That means if I get, spend that 38k, buy another below market value property and make more than £58 per month on it from the rent, which obviously I will, that's £58 per month, I'll be better off and I'll get the capital growth of the other property. And that's the key to buying properties and building a portfolio. Where you can, take the equity out, buy another one below market value, key, buy it below market value. Make sure you make more than the increase in the mortgage because obviously you borrowed a bit more. Get the capital growth on both, get the income on both and make sure you can do it again on the second one without a, without a refurb and rinse and repeat until you've got enough. In this portfolio, I think there's 30 odd properties and uh, it's worth a few mil, probably a bit more actually now but probably less than five mil on this one, but I've obviously got properties in my own name and another company. So again, that's how we do it. And now if I go into my emails, I'll show you the mortgage offer for this one. So mortgage offer received. Okay, that doesn't show anything. Guys, I'm literally doing all the paperwork for it. Um, Rosa offer, okay, view. Okay, there's the offer for Rosa Road, Foundation Home Loans, and you can see that it's all legit. Gross loan amount £185,400, which is pretty much the same as that, okay? There are some differences with the fees and stuff. And um, now, if you look at this, this might scare some people, novices. Total amount to be repaid, 630 so I'm borrowing almost 200 and I'm paying back 630 now a lot of people who don't know about business would go well I'm not doing that they're ripping me off I'm paying back three pound 40 for every one pound borrowed yes guys but you're not taking the account into account the capital appreciation inflation over 25 years rental income over 25 years okay which is a lot I mean if I work it out now so if I'm making 800 let's say today's rent still applies to 25 years which it won't obviously it'll be a lot more but let's say 890 times 12 is 10,000 pound a year times 25 years equals 267 just from rental income in, a, in 25 years. Let me just make sure I've done that right. So 890 times 12 months a year. Yeah, that's one year times 25 years equals 267,000 pounds. That's just from the rent. 890, which is low for even this year, never mind in two years' time. So, guys. As you can see, this month, not only, not only have I taken around 50k rental income from one company, net, but there's 38,000 pound tax free in the bank from this remortgage, and 33,500 from the Liverpool remortgage. That's 71,500 plus 54 to 125,000 this, this month, 30 days, divided by 30. Was four thousand pounds a day times by seven is twenty nine thousand pounds a week. That's footballer wages. So, guys, it's so easy. There's no training. I mean, I'll train you, but all you need to do is buy properties below market value. And to be honest, we sometimes pay sources. As I've got a lot of contacts, I, I the key thing you've got to remember is buy below market value. If you can't do it yourselves, you're more than welcome to drop a link. In, drop a comment below um, free property investment guide get our free property investment guide we'll teach you what we do and how you can source properties below market value and follow this exact model guys it does take six months to a year to wait for the capital appreciation and be able to remortgage even if you buy below market value unless you're forcing a repo you can't remortgage on day one but what's six months you're still getting the rental income everyone's saying oh, i want to do it too time will pass so fast anyway even if you have to wait two years for this one. I, it was like yesterday I bought this, 2022, and now 38k is back. 
and I've had my rental income all that time and I've still got the property. So guys, that's just a little insight into my business and how we're doing big numbers every month. I've got a whole portfolio. As I said, I'm not remortgaging everything. I'm still buying, so the ones I'm buying I am. And then I'm, I usually just do it once and then I'll let it grow and move on and move on. And that's how I'm getting 50, scaling up to 50-ish houses and particularly the HMOs because they're high profit margins and social housing. So stay tuned guys, subscribe to this channel if you want to learn more and we'll be back on site next week on a refurb and showing you how we flip property and how to do refurbs correctly. I like to do a bit of knowledge because being a landlord and being a property investor, you'll have paid for it like this to do, you'll have banking, you'll have remortgages to negotiate and then you'll have to go on site and then you'll have to go view property. Um, so it's all in one, it's, really, it's a really interesting career and one thing's guaranteed guys, you're going to make a lot of money if you do property and properly. Let's get it.